Hey guys, I'm Tahir Khan, and one of the subscribers reached out to me saying, hey, um, how can we use NADN and the workflows that um, I've been demonstrating to effectively manage P Amazon PPC ads? So I was thinking about it, and I came up with this idea where the automation will ingest a search term report. If you have dealt with Amazon PPC ads, you already know what, what this is. You can go to your ads console and download your search term report for last month. That's what I did. And in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the automation rather than building it together because it, the video becomes abnormally long. So you can see that I'm using Google Sheets to read the data in and Google Sheets to output the data. Now, what is in the file is When you download the search term report from Ads Console, it gives you a whole lot of data, um, many more columns than that are displayed here. What I did was I filtered those columns, and, and I'm sending to the automation just the columns that matter. It has uh, The actual report has units sold, one day, seven day, 14 day, 30 day sales, same SKU, uh, a whole lot of data which is irrelevant to this automation. So I condensed the, that entire data set into a CSV and I uploaded it to Google Sheets. I added a res results tab because this is where the automation will dump the results out. You can see that um, there are only two output rows because this is because I'm limiting the number of rows to process. Why? Because making a thousand calls to GPT is pretty expensive and I'll walk you through the automation the work the workflow and I, and I'll tell you where to make the change to uh, reduce this limit so as you can see I'm using I'm reading the input file this is the name of my file and this is the sheet and then I specify where my data is okay that's the first thing now if you have never set up Google Drive integration, Google Sheets integration. It's pretty simple. Um, if you do need help or get stuck, just drop in a comment and I will answer, I will try my best to answer you, answer any questions you have. So the next step is I added this limit. Now I'm limiting it to two rows for obvious, obvious reasons. I didn't want to spend all my tokens making calls to GPT. What you can do is stick, for example, the number of rows in my file is a thousand. Without modifying the workflow, what you can do is just go in here and change this number to a thousand. So everything will be processed. The next thing is we add a code node. And what we are doing here is summarizing the impressions, the count, the ACOS and everything to make it GPT ready. Uh, as you can see, I find the the columns and all I'm doing is adding these and sending it over to GPT. The search term impressions clicks, conversion rate, click through rate, ACOS. The next thing um, I added a batching because if you send a thousand calls to um, chat GPT it, you may run into throttling and bandwidth issues and your automation may take too long. So for that, I added a loop node, a split node, where I'm splitting the batch size. Now, my batch size happens to be two. What you can do is change the batch size to 10. So you will be sending 10 rows at a time to GPT. GPT will respond. And then GPT will respond. You will loop over again until all the rows have been processed. And once the data is ready, you format the output using a code node. All we're doing here is combining the, the input from the output from GPT and our file and making it, making it ready to be dumped into our Google Sheets. Before we do that, we just make sure that we write the columns the way they are. 
the way we want them to appear in the sequence in the in Google Sheets. Let's look at um, and this automation, this workflow is a little different in my previous workflows. I've been using the HTTP node. Here I'm directly using the OpenAI node because I wanted to change up and show you how easy it is. So the first thing that you that you need to do is, of course, set up an OpenAI account and you'll have to enter your API key, which I already have done here. And once you do that, uh, once you do that, then what you want to do is you set you're messaging a model. What you're doing is, if you remember in this previous step, we formatted the data to be GPT consumption ready. So in effect, what we're doing is taking this data and messaging the model and providing this prompt to the model. And the model will process the data 10 rows at a time until we um, exhaust all the rows in the input. And once the output is ready, um, the, the, there will be a code node which will consolidate the data from all the sources. And the next node, all it does is make sure, write the, spit, the, the columns in the order that you want them to appear in your sheets like search terms, ACOS, action, suggested bids, variants. Now, I called it variants because these are keyword, keyword variants. You can call them long tail, uh, long tail keywords or whatever. And you can rename these according to the way you want them to appear in the Google Sheet. So once everything is processed, and to show you guys that the automation actually works, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to run the automation again. So it's reading the input file, two rows, summarizing it, calling open AI. And then it will loop over. There's nothing to loop, loop over because there are only two rows. And then outputting the data to, G, to, to sheets. So here, um, the action that is recommended by open AI is decrease the bid. And this is the suggested bid. These are the two key, keyword variants, best running shoes for everyday use and best garlic press. And the reason why it thinks you should decrease the bid and the reason why the suggested bid. So that's about it for this automation. If you have any questions or get stuck, I know I didn't build the automation with you guys together because I wanted to try something different. But if you do, if you get stuck anywhere, just drop in a comment, ask our questions, and I'll be more than glad to answer any questions you may have. Hope you enjoyed it, and this is the cheapest way for you to use your search term report and figure out what to do next with your bids and keywords. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, like, subscribe, and follow because we drop new automations every week. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.